Oh, you think you too good now because you got yourself a little YouTube channel? too good now because i got a youtube channel okay uh-uh girl why you charge so much this is a lot for just a sweater i mean i could buy it cheaper from somewhere else not made by my hands you can't Hey friends, I'm Shauna and this is Crafting With My Friends where we share our love of crafting and creating with each other and the world. So, let's talk about it. Shauna doesn't do customs anymore. I mean, you make some bomb stuff. Why y'all do customs no more? How come you won't just make it for me? I would love for you to make this in this color. What about this color? Mm-mm, that's not the right color. Stop. One of the main reasons why I don't do customs anymore is because if a client decides that they don't want the product or if they want to cancel the order, I'm stuck with a piece, product, or supplies that I don't want and I don't need. I don't think I like this color anymore. Well, I want to buy a product and I want to keep my order but I think I need my money for something else. Oh, I don't know. And then it's sitting here collecting dust. Nobody's gonna buy it. I wouldn't sell it to anybody and I'm not gonna wear it. It's not my design. So what a lot of clients failed to realize was if I purchase yarn or if I purchase certain supplies like maybe hooks or embellishments or things like that and they decide at the last minute that they don't want the item I've already spent my money and I can't take these things back once I've started making the product that's the worst feeling in the world so what I did was I started terms and conditions where if an item is under a certain amount of money, you have to pay in full. Then if the product is over a certain amount of money, there's a percentage you put down that provides me with the money that I would need to go and buy the products just certain terms and conditions when it came to securing the order and a lot of clients didn't like that they felt that since I am a a handmade crafter and not a real designer that I don't have the right or I have a lot of nerve to charge up front and ask for a percentage guys that's not fair because we take the time with our hands to make these pieces for you and to put everything that we have into a project to make sure that you love it so when you downgrade our work like that, it doesn't feel good. And it just got to the point where I was just like, it's not worth it. It's not worth the, the self-doubt that you get when people look at you that way. And it's not worth... It's not worth feeling like you're less than what you know you are just because you're making the items from home. Let me tell you something. These hands work harder than any machine or any mass producer when it's just me or just her or 
just him. We put our hard work and dedication into making products that you will love and that you asked for. That part right there. Another reason why I don't do customs anymore is because it's not me. So you find yourself taking orders and fulfilling custom made designs for people. Where is there room for you to express your creativity? Where is there room for you to show people that I can do more than the picture you saw in the magazine, right? Or I can do more than something you saw somebody else wear in the TV or somewhere out on the streets. So I decided I am not going to do customized designs or these unrealistic projects for people and not showcase my talent. Sure, I can crochet. I can sew. I can do that all day long. All day long. But what you don't see is my creativity. Just what I know how to, how to do. And it's not the same. So... I no longer do customs. That's just the long and the short of it. So the idea was, now that I'm not doing customs anymore, what do I do next? And the first thing was start an Etsy shop. So I was like, I can do that. I can start an Etsy shop and I can just sell all of my pieces on Etsy. And this time, it'll be mine. Nobody else's designs, nobody else's ideas. And I would make a piece and I would sell it by size. All made to order. And the colors are picked, the designs are picked. Um, Everything is picked, is already made. You buy what you like. No customizations. No, oh, I like that sweater, but can you do it in red? I like this hat and scarf set, but can you make it into a cowl instead? No, I cannot. What I can do is sell you what I have in the colors that I have. And if you don't like them, It sounds mean, <laughs> it sounds mean, but it's how you have to be. You have to be stern, you have to be firm in your worth for your sanity and your business. Because ask yourself this question real quick, real, real quick. Would you go to Target and tell Target that you like a pair of jeans that they have, but can you call up Knox Rose and let them know that I don't like this in pink, can they make it in purple? But baby, they don't make it in purple. So you gotta buy what you see, right? So why would it ever be okay for you to suggest to a handmade crafter or an independent designer that sells their own products, a set design that you like their products, but not the way they made them. You need them to make it the way you want it. Why is that ever fair? So as a consumer, reaching out to an independent designer or a handmade crafter or anything of that nature, Ask yourself why it would be fair for you to treat that person differently from a high-end designer or a designer that makes clothes or products for a big box company or anything like that. It's just not.
not there. So then I started designing all of these things and I put so many pieces together. And once I did that, I realized, girl, you ain't ready. I'd already had the idea to start a YouTube channel, but I wanted to do my designs and sell them on Etsy at the same time. And I just felt like, where would I have time to do tutorials and to do vlogs and live and all of these different things for YouTube and have the time to make pieces to sell on Etsy. Y'all, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> and to be honest, I probably never will be. So what you may get if I ever start a Etsy shop is patterns. I don't know what else to say. Um, you can always watch my tutorials. I make awesome custom created and designed by Shauna Janae products in my YouTube tutorials. And some of my pieces might be inspired by something that I see, but it's something that I see, not anybody else's vision. And that counts more to me than anything else. Um, will I ever do customs again? I can tell you with full conviction, no. <laughs> no, I will not ever do customs ever again. Um, I do have a lot of cro crochet pieces that I'll do for a tutorial that I may never wear. So what may happen is I'll do a giveaway. <laughs> I'll do a giveaway or I'll give them to a family member or donate them or anything like that. But I will never, ever consider doing customs ever again. Not to sew, not to crochet, not to anything. If I ever sell anything, it will be my designs, my ideas, my creativity, my way. And you can take that to the bank or to Etsy or somewhere. I don't know. Wherever you want to take it, girl, take it. But I'm not doing customs no more if it don't belong to me. That's just it. I hope that breaks it down for you. And I hope that it's something that you can either relate to or you can understand as a consumer why I personally choose not to do customs anymore. Nothing to do with clients, but mainly to do with my peace of mind. I need to feel from myself that I am able to reach an audience or a consumer with my products that I designed myself. So, I wanna thank everyone for tuning into this video, listening to my rant, and sharing this time with me. I really do appreciate it. Um, that's something that I really wanted to get off my chest for a very long time because I've been asked, um, I've been, I don't even know the word for it. I just, I want people to understand that this is a choice that I make for my hands, my mind, my creativity, my heart, and my hard work and dedication that I put into 